This is an E6B manual flight computer. It's also called a circular slide rule. It was invented in the early part of the last century to help pilots be able to do calculations both in planning their flights and to be able to do corrections while they're in flight. Now while you're flying an airplane, you can't take your hands off the controls to do all kinds of calculations. So it's designed so that you can do all these kind of calculations such as estimated time of arrival, flying time, um, air pressure, performance of the uh, engine based on altitude and air density and airspeed calculations and converting between nautical and miles and statute miles, you can do this all with one finger using these different scales. On the back of the calculator is a wind vector adjustment calculator and it's a device that allows you to do vector math but basically just with this circular compass and with a pencil. So here's our situation. I want to fly a magnetic course of 95 degrees. I want my airspeed over the ground to be 98 knots, and I want my magnetic wind. My I want and my magnetic wind is 150 degrees. It's coming from 150 degrees, and it's blowing at 20 knots. I want to find out what the magnetic heading I should steer, and what ground speed will um, prevail. What my ground speed will be um, in the situations. So the first thing you do is you set your wind direction under the true index. So the wind direction is coming from 150. So I'm going to spin this until I see 150 on the true index. Then I mark the wind speed up from the center point. So the center point is right here and I'm going to just line that up so I've got a nice marking and I'm going to go up 10, 20 and I'm going to put a little pencil mark to indicate 20 knots. Then I'm going to put the true course. So the course I want to fly is 95 degrees. So I'll take this and I'll adjust this back, swing it, until I'm at showing 95 degrees under the true index. <clears throat> and then I will put the velocity mark down to my true airspeed. So my true airspeed should be 98 knots. So I'm going to slide this, slide that mark down until it's lined up with 98 knots on the scale. So I have to go down here until I get to 98. Right there. So now, to find out what my <clears throat> what my ground speed is, I look at the dot. And the dot says my ground speed is about 85 knots. And it says that the course correction I should steer is 10 degrees to the east of my magnetic course. So I'm going to do 195, or sorry, 95 degrees plus 10 degrees course correction equals 105 degrees magnetic at uh, 85 knots.